Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Morning Update. Today is National Cinnamon Day, so sprinkle some cinnamon on everything you eat. Oh, what if it doesn't go on what you're eating? Sam, this is America. I'll put cinnamon on my pizza and burgers if I want to. <laughs> Dude, I'm not judging you. I'm just saying cinnamon doesn't go on everything. Let's go with ice cream, though. That's interesting. Anyways, let's get on to today's announcements. Hello everyone, photo voice registration is rolling so it's not too late to sign up and it's free. It's a fun opportunity to explore your creative expression through photography, arts, poetry, video, and media you'd like to use to say something about what matters to you and other youth. Being part of Photo Voice is great for your portfolio, your mind, and it's a meaningful opportunity to have a positive impact on your community through what you create. It's also a chance to give valuable support to other Photo Voice members and to learn together about the benefits of the creative process. We meet on Wednesdays after school at Tritown Council in Topsfield. Registered students can hop on a Masco bus to get there. Please consider joining. Email Bonnie at bthurnborough at tritowncouncil.org. Why the fitness gym closed down? It just did work out. <laughs> Attention everyone, Dungeons and Dragons Club is meeting every Thursday at 3 in Mr. Chadwick's room, 1210. If you have any interest in D&D, please join them. No experience is necessary. Hey Masco, looking for a fun activity after school? Well, the Masco Deca Club is hosting an event at Sky Zone in Danvers. Come disguise them between 6 and 8 on Thursday, November 7th to jump with friends, support Masco Deca, and even participate in a dodgeball tournament with a $100 cash prize. Please remember to have a signed waiver complete before arriving to reduce the time spent in lines. Contact an officer at the emails below or a DMR Instagram account for more information. See you there. This year for Halloween, I went as Luigi, and my favorite piece of candy have to be Skittles. This year for Halloween, I was Mario, and my favorite candy is M&M's. This year for Halloween, I was a samurai, and my favorite piece of candy is Kit Kats. This year for Halloween, I was a priest, and my favorite candy is Skittles. This year, my Halloween costume was a Sims character my friends made for me, and my favorite candy is jelly beans. This year for Halloween, I was Jason Tatum, and my favorite candy is Skittles. This year, my Halloween costume was a SWAT agent, and my favorite piece of Halloween candy is Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. This year for Halloween, I was myself, because anything else would be disingenuous. I like airheads. For Halloween, I was a Hanson brother from the movie Slapshot. My favorite candy is M&M's. Have you had a hard time managing day-to-day -day stress? The Tritown Tri Council will be holding a workshop to help teens in grades 8 and up in learning strategies to help manage signs of stress and depression. The workshop will be held on November 15th at the Emerson Center in Tufts where pizza and snacks will be served. Registration is required, so scan the QR code on the screen to sign up now. Listen up everyone, we've got a huge news. WBMT is now online. Old school listeners can still tune in to 88.3 FM, but you can now stream WBMT wherever you are from the MASCA website. Click on Athletics and Activities, and then find WBMT in the drop-down menu. The redesigned website also has a feature that allows you to send in song requests. And as always, listeners can still call in requests by dialing 978-887-2323 extension 11260. You can listen anytime, but student broadcasts occur on Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 3 to 5 p.m. and on Wednesdays from 1 to 5 p.m. Check it out. The Environmental Club's fall cleanup is tomorrow, Saturday, November 2nd, and they need your help. It's right at Trinity, which is super close, and it's a great way to earn some community service hours while cleaning up our local area. The cleanup will be held from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. next Saturday. Contact the email below with any questions. Hope to see you there. Welcome back to the Masco Sports Update. 
To kick things off, football had an unfortunate loss against Marblehead in the NEC Championship, but they are getting ready for the playoffs, hope, hoping to get a good seed. Yeah, that's sad. But, hey, in field hockey news, they split the NEC title with Beverly after a huge win over Danvers to close out their season. And guess what, guys? They play at home at four at the Boxford Commons against the 18 seed Lemonster. They are the 15 seed, so make sure you come to that game. This is going to be a huge close game. And after that game, come to a girls' volleyball game against Silver Lake Regionals. At home as well. At 6 o'clock. And thank you for tuning in to the Masco Sports Update. All right, my name is Charlie. I'm here with uh, Volleyball Captains. Hi, I'm Megan. I'm Jesse. And volleyball has just won the NEC Championships. So what is um, your favorite part about being on the team? I would say for me, it's the spirit days. I feel like we always go all out, and that's a big part of why we're so close and I think one of the main reasons why we made it so far. That's great. And then what components have helped you come so far? I think how together we are as like a program and how we all support each other no matter what happens in the games. Yeah. 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 All right. And then finally, as playoffs are coming up, how are you guys prepared? How do you feel? Um, I think we're going to do really good. We should yeah. go far. Um, we have a game tonight at 6 p.m. So show up, need yeah. your support, playing Silver Lake Regional. So, yeah. yeah. All right, good luck. Everyone, everyone show up at 6 o'clock at home. Seniors, I'm back with more college visits for you. Don't forget that if you want to see any of these schools, you must register through your Naviance account under Colleges, then the College Visits tab. Okay, here's the list for next week. There are no college visits on Monday or Tuesday this week, so jumping into Wednesday, we will have Worcester State University, Leslie University. On Thursday, we will have Drew University, Westfield State University, and finally Curry College. Okay, seniors, it looks like that's all the college visits Masco will be holding this year. If you have any questions, be sure to check in with Miss Delafano. Good luck. Hi, and welcome back to Company Casting. My name is Abby, and I'm here with our final interview for the show of The Adams Family, because tonight is opening night. Come and see it. Before then, I'm here interviewing our amazing director and choreographer, Mr. Pink. Hello, Abby. Hello, everyone. Thank yes. you. Um, so my first question is, what made you choose The Addams Family? Um, well, I've always wanted to direct The Addams Family. I think it's a great, funny show. Yeah. Um, I really wanted for our company to experience doing a show that's more festive. Yes. Um, especially because we're and funny yep. um, and very lighthearted. Yes. Um, and just like a true comedy with really good writing and really good music. So I thought that was the best choice for us this I year. That, yeah. yeah. And for the people coming to see the show, what do you think they're going to like the most? Um, I think they're going to like the jokes. <laughs> I think they're going to like the characters. Yeah. Um, the characters are very iconic, so I'm sure people will enjoy that. Um, but I really think people are going to enjoy the jokes and the, the really funny parts of the show. Like punchlines. The punchlines. Um, it's all very funny. Yeah, so. We're used to doing shows that are I don't know. definitely more of an edge to them. <laughs> yes. Definitely a break from that one. Yes, yes, for sure. And on a more personal note, mm -hmm. who's your favorite character in the Adam's Family? Oh, who's my favorite character? Um... I mean, I love them all. Mm -hmm. It has to be between the grandma. She's my, one of my favorites. I think she's hilarious. Yes. Um, I think Alice. Alice is another one that I'm like, that's so funny. But I do love all of them. Yeah. Um, I think when they're they all together, well exactly. When they're all, the characters are all together, it's like the best. Yeah. So. And since yesterday was Halloween, I feel like I should ask, are you more of like a you know scary Halloween guy, or are you more of like a sappy Christmas guy? Can I say something? I actually like hate scary things, uh -huh. except for this time of year. Really? So yeah, so I, I like I like Halloween. Um, my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving, so none of those. Um, but uh, so it's like the kickstart of all of that. Mm -hmm. But I will say, there's nothing like a Christmas movie. I'm so bad. I probably shouldn't say that, but um, a Christmas. I'm totally the Christmas Especially guy. Like when it's snowing out. I know, and like yeah. the presents and yeah. all that stuff. I'm like stuff. right in like the Christmas mood right now. I, I am. Really? Yeah. 
I'm playing like Christmas music. No, you're not. Yeah. You can't do that yet. We should do that um, on November 1st. Even yeah. though we open and it's a spooky show, we should do like a Christmas. <laughs> well, people are like walking. I think that's them. hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I think that's so funny. <laughs> Done. Okay. okay great. Thank you for being here. That was great. Oh my God. Thank okay. you. And don't forget, the Adam family opens today. Two nights. And if you can't make it today, come tomorrow, one o'clock or seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. if you haven't bought your tickets yet? Do that, or you can buy your tickets at the door. Yes, please come. Please come. It's going to be really funny. It's going to be really funny. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you all for watching, and tune in next time when I interview more of whatever show we are doing. Ha ha. <laughs>